All right, guys, we got a little problem here. Anybody know what that is? It's a foot pedal to an RV toilet. So after almost three years of use on this toilet full time with four people living in the camper, the foot pedal finally broke off. We ordered a new toilet from Amazon. Uh, the Dometic 300 series standard height toilet, white, just your basic toilet. It's actually the exact same toilet we've had. We've like the way this toilet functions and looks for the last three years so no reason to change right now all right so we got our new toilet in the mail they delivered it right to the rv park it comes with the new sort of seal for the floor it comes with all the hardware that you need new hardware new caps and that's really all there is to it so we're not going to draw this out we're going to go for speed here so you can see it's something you can easily do yourself in a relatively short amount of time all the hardware that you need is included in the kit uh, that came with the toilet you need a ratchet with an 11 millimeter deep well socket an 11 millimeter wrench in this case it's a ratchet wrench which really helps out a thin flathead screwdriver and a pair of channel locks or a pair of pliers be sure it's off we're going to go ahead and turn it off at the spigot and at our Y connection. Then we want to relieve the pressure, water pressure. So we're going to hold that down until we get the water to stop leaking. Now we're going to take our common screwdriver. Now this pedal's broke off so I'll take it off so you can see easily. And we're going to put our common screwdriver under here and just sort of pop that off. Okay. In this case on this side with the foot pedal the deep well socket doesn't fit in there and a short socket won't reach. So we're going to use our ratchet wrench. We're going to take our channel locks and we're going to loosen our water line. It should be enough to get it with our fingers. It's going to leak a little bit of water. Don't let that freak you out. You wipe that up with a towel. At some point, right in here, I'd like to install a valve to where I can cut the water off so if we're boondocking, we don't have to flush with water every time that we flush the toilet. We go to the other side, reach back in there, it's got a cap the same way. Pop that off with the screwdriver. Now here we can use our deep well ratchet. Because it will fit, there's not the mechanism for the pedal on this side so we can use our deep well. If you have a 11 millimeter ratchet wrench that's probably your best best option. In fact that's what I'm going to switch to right now so that I can hold the top of the bolt keep it from wiggling so I can get more turns on the wrench. Got the nut and the washer off Take them out of there. All right, so now we put our gloves on and take toilet off. Just that easy. It's not very heavy at all, only a few pounds. Our black ring looks okay. Got the old one off. We'll take out the old hardware. Put in the brand new ones that gave us. Just slide in there in the slot. See how it's oblong? goes in the slot slide it back now get everything out of the way get our brand new toilet and the only trick is to line up those holes with these screws so you can sort of start with the one that you got right here Pop it in there like that. We'll go to this side. Put our gloved hand under there. Put a washer on and a nut. Put our other washer and nut on the other side. It's gonna feel a little bit tippy because of the spongy kind of seal on the bottom of it. That's okay, that's normal. See how it's kind of wiggly? We're gonna draw that down with the wrench when we tighten up these nuts okay so now I'm gonna go back to the ratchet wrench you could use a regular wrench 
same as you did taking it off. Get that side down a little bit, then we'll go ahead and come to this side. Just snug it down, we don't want to over tighten. We don't want to crack anything, it is all plastic really. So we can come back and take a little bit more on this side. Yeah, snug it. We can always come back and snug it more uh, a little bit later. So now you can see that when I wiggle that, there's no wiggle. Should be good to go. We'll finish up by hooking up the water. We'll go hand tight here. Make sure you don't cross thread those threads. Make sure it should go on pretty easy with your fingers um, because then you will have leaks if you cross thread. So make sure it goes on with your fingers. And just maybe a, another half a turn or so, three quarters maybe. I'm not sure what that was. You can see it on the video. And last thing you do for the install is put your caps on and they just push right on. Push them down, give it that finished look, make it look pretty. You know, put the other one on the other side the same way. All right. Good to go. Turn our water back on. Open our Y back up. New toilet installed. Lift it up. All brand new. Push the pedal. Part way down to fill it. All the way down to flush. Perfect. Super easy job. If you got a problem with your RV toilet, it is not a problem for you to replace. Um, I will put a link in the description below for the toilet that we use. It is on Amazon. We are now Amazon affiliates, so um, if you do purchase toilet through that link, we do get a small percentage of that. Um, but like I said, it's the toilet we've been using, and we like it and have tried it out for three years, so we're going to stay with it. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video and got some value out of it, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like it, subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Have a great day.